Muir Burns taking a long time to turn round, something I've been personally involved in. In the local fire brigade as well, it's taken 20-25 years talking about how uh, we were all taught to use fire to fight fire by back burning different techniques and what have you. It wasn't getting listened to for a long time, it was getting bombed out. And I reckon now we're being listened to. Um, there's a huge danger of a wildfire in Scotland by some of the land uses that is in there now. I cannot believe how quickly they are turning against the new, what they call, green layers. Basically people to keep uh, their factories spewing out the rubbish that's polluting oh, yeah, the planet. Yeah, yeah ruining Scotland, no for this, oh, we're saving the planet, it's to save them taxes. Mm -hmm. And the amount of public money that's getting ploughed into forestry, rewilding, that, as Ian says, will go up in flames. A hundred people lost their lives last year in Portugal. The wildfire. The changes in Moorland burning has totally changed now to what it was. There was very little pressure when I started. You just went out and burned heather. You didn't have to phone the fire brigade in the morning and tell them where you're going to be burning, when you were going to be finished. Um, and there was no pressure on where you burned. Whereas today you've got to jump through hoops now in the morning before you set off. That's been one big change uh, uh, that I've seen, like, but there's been a lot, of, a lot of changes over the year, but I would say that's the biggest change in, in Muir Burning is the pressure that's on keepers now. From all angles, that they're worried about wildfires, climate change and all the rest of it, um, they're worried about wildfires, so they're coming back to now listen to people that have practical experience in the ground, because it's alright, we can all shout loud and blah blah blah, um, but when something goes wrong, um, they need realistic people who know what they're doing. Look at mountain rescue teams. Where do they go when they need help in the hills? Straight to the local keeper to take them up there and what have you. We are the only country in the world that's still continuing down the lines of adding to the fuel load. You look at any other country and they are now going back to controlled burning to control the fuel load. Scotland is increasing it every every year and there will be a fire, it's not if, there will be a fire here that there will be property and loss of life. Yeah. This idea of the lies that was put out by a scientist that X number of wildfires was caused by control of your world was proven to be an absolute lie. It is shocking the untruths that is put out about this industry. Absolutely mm -hmm. shocking. But it's, it's great to have that equipment there for people to get on and to help out. And I mean, how many places now that there are wildfires, general, uh, genuine wildfires somewhere else, that people can take that equipment and help them. Yeah. Massive help. The fire service will tell you themselves, massive help to them when, when keepers turn up. And the first thing they name normally is that the, not only the equipment, but the knowledge the guys have to use it and to fight the fire and where to fight it and what have you. To have that knowledge, it's easy to sit and talk and do X, Y and Z, but to have that practical knowledge, that's the first thing they'll um, tell you is the, when, when the keepers turn up, they've done a lot of it, is their knowledge of how to use that equipment and that is massive for helping them. You can never go past practical experience and people can fight against you with a loud voice but I think practicality will come around um, again in the future. There's a lot of memories, there's a lot of memories like it. Uh... Well the amount of people that come to the countryside to see what's out there, the amount of waders and all the rest of it, I've just lived the dream all my working life and I continue to do so. I'm still working. Mm -hmm.